Right, now bring it in. Right, yeah, just bring it in. And then afterwards you'll lick the lips. Isn't that an experience? Flavor sensation. <laughs> oh, these are very good. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying British crisps. Yeah, and while we do that, we're gonna drink on some of these new Bud Light seltzers. Yes, if you haven't watched the video a while ago, Alex thought it was a really cool idea, which it was, to watch the Super Bowl adverts. adverts or commercials. Commercials. And in there, our favorite advert actually yeah. was the Bud Light seltzers. Yeah. And I was in the shops recently, and I saw that we can actually get them here. And it's a variety pack. So so I thought, why not get those? Surprise, Alex. Mm, and I thought I we could surprised. taste them while trying some brand new British crisps because a few of you have actually said that they'd like to see us try some more British mm -hmm. items, like new items. So like this, and maybe we can do some uh, new British chocolates and yeah. sweets, Good things plan. like that. Good plan. Just like to start by saying thank you, Kate, for this box. Yeah, thank you, Kate, for getting this box. It was really nice of you to go to the shop Are and get this one. Are you gonna send me a box? I'm gonna send you a box of British candy. Um, if you'd like to get one for yourself, we'll leave a link down below. That kind of sounds like a joke, but we do actually have British candy boxes yeah. that you can buy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. Which seltzer should we start with? Yeah. We should probably crack open a Let's drink. Let's crack first, open a we? drink. So I'm super excited about this. We've got three flavors. I don't know why I thought there were six, but you get six cans a six pack. in a pack. I think this is also really cool, don't you? Yeah, really cool. It's an alcoholic sparkling water mm. with natural flavors. I kind of thought there was going to be beer in this, but it's not, is it? No, it's, it's seltzer. It's a seltzer. So what is the alcohol? Does it say? 4%. No, I mean, is it oh. like vodka or is it? Oh, Oh, it's a malt beer. Ah. So it's like a malt drink, you know, um, like that one you like. Oh yeah, malt beer. What's the one you like? It's from America. You know, it had oh, a really catchy tagline. The Jamaican one. Yeah. Jamaican me happy. Yeah, something like that. Was that a malt drink? That was a malt drink. The reason I ask is because I've had like a brand of um, seltzers yeah. um, from Brewdog, but they have um, vodka in them. Ah. So it's like a light Scottish sparkling water with flavor but also with vodka whereas this one is malt they all seem to be like the thing these yeah. days and i think they're also sold as like low calorie because yeah. these are only like 95 yeah. calories and i wonder we could either really like these or really not i know because if they're a bit like lacroix we're just gonna be like oh, yeah okay actually i have got passion fruit this is strawberry and in the middle here we've got Lemon and lime. And if I'm being honest, they're not what I was expecting. I feel like these seltzers and things like that are very much targeted to women, a lot of them. Whereas I feel like this is a very neutral. Neutral, Neutral. Yeah. It well, can think... be quite masculine, but it can look quite feminine. But I see a lot of guys posting about White Claw. Oh, really? Yeah. I, feel I don't like think that's it's just women. Also more of a masculine one. But you know, like the gin and tonic tins yeah. and that is very pinky yeah. and things like that. Whereas mm. these are quite gender neutral, neutral I yeah. would say. Um, I like that they've got the different color of the yeah so when you tabs. see them in the pack you know which one you want yeah which one are you gonna go for do you want to do strawberry yeah i'm fine with start with strawberry and i'll go passion fruit it does smell like strawberry and it is clear oh it smells like passion fruit very clear and just in case anyone's concerned we have chilled these before filming we have chilled and yeah. we are of the age of drinking alcohol yes. cheers Also, don't drink while you're driving. That's nice. Do you know what? In some ways, it is kind of what I was expecting. It's not as sweet. And I feel like that will be very great for many of you out there mm. who don't want all those sugar sweetie drinks, but want a little bit, oh, I say a little bit of alcohol. This is the same strength as a lot of our ciders over here, like the Record Lig. Oh, really? They're and 4%. The mat, they're like 4%. And also a lot of our um, lagers, four. like um, Heineken and... Carl's, Fosters. Carling and Foster's. Can have a glass, please? We're all around 4%, aren't they? Yeah, it is nice, but it, to me, it does taste, you can taste alcohol. Can you? Oh yeah, definitely. Whereas sometimes like in a gin and tonic ones, I don't taste as much. What is kind of cool about these and what I've said before about, um, oh, we said about that Bush apple lager. Oh yeah. Is if you're somewhere like America or even here, we've had really nice weather recently, Something like this is just so nice to drink Honor. because it's nice and light and it's fruity and it's not too heavy. Sometimes as much as I love beer, like on a really hot day, a really heavy, like complicated beer just Ooh, doesn't feel like it's going to really cool you down. Yeah. Whereas something simple like it's this. It's fresh. Mm. If you quite like alcohol, 
Um, you might not even taste alcohol in this, but I can taste the alcohol in this, but it's not like overpowering, I don't like it. But do you know what? This is giving me La Croix Qua vibes. La Croix. The fact that it kind of does taste like fizzy water, no, but and I then the this, flavor comes ever so This has got more upwards. flavor than La Croix. Oh yeah, it does, yeah. La Croix. yeah. I would much rather drink this. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too, yeah. It doesn't matter that it's got alcohol, yeah. it's just I'd rather taste this. What are you preferring right now, by the way? Um. I think I like the strawberry best. I think I like the passion fruit best. Yeah. Passion fruit is nice, mm. but I think I like the I strawberry. I think the passion fruit's got more flavor, that's mm. why. Okay, moving on to the crisps. I'm excited. So we've got two Pringles, we've got a Walker's, we've got a Marks and Spencer's, mm. a Jacob's, and then we've got kind of like popcorn pop thing. Yeah. What do you want to go with first? Should we start with the Pringles? Why not? Why not? I had never seen these before. And I think these are kind of out to do with like the football. Pringles! It's quite clever that, yeah. isn't it? So two new flavors. I like the branding. I think that's really awesome with the green at the top. We have got pulled pork burger and Donna kebab. Now I really hope because we had tried a burger, a cheeseburger from Pringles from Japan. So yeah. I'm just hoping these really do taste good. Oh my word, that's so true. It says nothing half full about this can. Yeah, look how full they are. Mm, right I've got more top. in mine, I think. Now, if I'm being honest, I've not really had a Donna kebab. No, neither have I. Donna kebab. Kebabs are very popular over here, yeah. especially after a night out. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Now you don't really like meaty Chris, and we've got a few meaties here. These don't taste meaty though, they just taste like a sweet barbecue. Mm. Like a honey barbecue in America. Yeah. This is giving me a, a honey barbecue. What I don't like about meaty Chris is to try and do the meat flavour. It's just like a kind of harsh, burny kind of mm. flavour. I don't really Smoky. like that. Whereas you can't, these don't taste like pork. I think these it's are like some it. of the most flavoured Pringles. Mm. And I know we said that to the Applewood smoked cheddar, but these really do have so much. From here, on. these are probably the most. I really like them. I'm not so much getting burger, oh. but I'm getting smoky mm. and barbecue. And they're delightful and they're really good. Mm. Yeah, definitely would get those again. Okay, and then moving on to Donna Kebab. Mm. Mm. So a Donna Kebab, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Is it the one where you shave off? I think so, yeah. Really nice, like herby flavour. That is reminding oh. me, in a way, of like a curry. Mm. It's like a curry. I think it has similar flavours. All of these meaty ones are actually vegetarian. It's like the flavour that the meat gets flavoured mm -hmm. in and then just put it on here. It's not actually the flavour of the meat. This is really reminding me of something. Mm. A little bit of spice, not too much. Yeah, a little kick. If you could only keep one, which are you keeping? I'm going to have to keep the pulled pork. Yeah, I'm team pulled pork as well. Just because. Very, very good. Very good. Should we do these Walker's footy? So this is their U UEFA Champions League limited edition. One of their four footy favourites. Yeah, oh, cool. And this is Chicken Tackle Masala. Now that's clever, isn't it? Yeah, I see what they've done there. <laughs> so if you didn't get the pun, it's like chicken tikka masala, which is um, a curry. <laughs> I never What's saw this one. Say? It says no curries were tackled in the making of these crisps. Product contains flavoring only, no curry. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. I must have touched something spicy because now my eye is burning. Yeah. Let's see. Smell. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it does have a kind of... I love chicken tikka masala. Mmm, I don't know about chicken masala, but I feel like I can taste raita. If you don't have curry, over here, curry is served with like um, mango chutney, raita, mm. is that how you say it? Yeah. Which is like a creamy um, dip and it's absolutely amazing. This kind of does taste like, not necessarily chicken tikka masala, but like a mouthful of rice, raita, a bit of curry sauce. Mmm. Mm. That's really yummy. Yum. These could be called um, tatsiki. Yeah, they taste like taikasuku. Mmm. And they could be called Taste of Grease. Wow, I'm giving these 10 out of 10. Yeah, these are yummy. Wouldn't normally be my style of crisp that I like, but that's well, really nice. I've never had them, like a bag like this. No, I guess not. Never have I ever tried a, a crisp flavour like this. Mm. Really, really good. It's a very, so very, very fine spice. Mm. Very fine. And um, That's fine with me. That really does taste like tatsuki. 10 out of 10, fabulous. Right, shall we take a break from yes. 
like meaty. And Mouth shall we go? Sticks. Have you noticed these? Yeah. M&S, do you know what flavor? Yeah. Hand-cooked crisp, black truffle and olive oil. I don't Kate know if these are so new, well. but they are new to me. <laughs> and I knew you would enjoy these. You know me also, so Also, well. before you finish, fill the bag. So soft. Yeah, and like, feels really thin. Now, if you don't know, M&S, aka Marks and Spencers, aka Marks and Sparks, is or a- Marks's. Marxies. Or Sparks. Um, Sparksies. Is a very, it's a supermarket here that also has, sells clothes, but it's more on the higher end Luxury scale. Luxury end. Luxury. Although they do have like quite a good, I wouldn't call them basics because even their basics yeah, aren't basic. Yeah, they do have more But they do than... have more simple, shall I yeah. say, things than you actually realise. Before, it used to just be like the really fancy stuff. Yeah, whereas now they have mm. more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, um, smell the mouth. And also, Strong. if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with truffle. And some of my favorite crisps we ever had were from Sweden. Sweden. And they were truffle flavored. Mm. And I've never tried a bag as good as that ever again. These are good. Mm. Remember for a while, we were getting some from Waitrose that were quite mm -hmm. good. They were, um, what's that brand? Tyrrells. Tyrrells. What do you think to these? These are great. Mm. I still don't think they're as good as the ones from Sweden. But they're nice. But they are delicious. At least they have a taste of the black truffle. Yeah. Whereas sometimes I feel like they don't put enough in. Yeah. I feel really lucky that I like truffle. Because mm. so many people don't like it. Really? Mm -hmm. well, it is a bit odd, isn't it? It's luxurious and delicious. It is. Oh, the oh. best way to enjoy truffles on a lovely creamy pasta. Mm. The thing with truffle though is, I think it can get uh, quite samey, and I think that's the same with pesto. Mm. So we shared that pasta, because we shared like a few, mm. and I think that was good. I couldn't Perfect. sit and eat a whole bag of these, but I probably could sit and eat a whole bag yeah. of the chicken tackle masalas. They are absolutely delicious, but like you say, I definitely don't think anything has come close to the Swedish ones. Mm. Or was it Finland? Oh, Sweden, because that's where Ikea's from. Oh yeah, and they said you could get potentially them find Ikea. them from Ikea, but again. Although we never did. What, what are you giving those? 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10 because the Swedish ones are 10 out of 10. I'm giving them 12 because the Swedish ones were 20, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, right, do you wanna go, um, these aren't popcorn. Mm, so should pop we go chips. for these? Because I kind of want something to break up yeah. the flavor. Fine. These have won a Great Taste 2020, so they're definitely not new, but they're new to me. Yeah. I suppose they didn't really get out much in 2020. No. But this is by the brand Proper chips. I know them more as the proper popcorn. Proper corn, yeah. Proper corn. And I didn't realise that they have chips. Mm. But these aren't just chips. These are actually lentil chips. Oh, that's cool. So Salt and vinegar cool. lentil chips. And don't you just love the photos? Yeah, that's fine. Do you know what? I feel like the seltzer's getting to me already. Really? Sometimes you get some hot flushes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the alcohol. Hot, yeah. Proper small word, big ambition. It all started with popcorn. I made the first batch of proper corn in a refashioned cement mixer. What? No way. And we still do things differently today. Proper chips is no exception. It's big, bold flavor and loads of crunch wrapped up in a mighty lentil chip. Apple cider vinegar is the hero here. Apple cider vinegar? Mm. It brings a sweet, sharp zing paired with a wave of sea salty saltness. If tang is your thang, if tang is your thang, Bye. snack on this. Making snacks properly means a lot to us. It has to taste banging. It should be better for you and of course, better for the planet. That's why we're on a mission, eat proper. Cassandra. Oh, their mission is climate change. We're on a mission, a carbon mission. Of course this is British, because on another country, would you really say it has to taste banging bang in, in another no. country? This is exciting. So this it? is really cool, because they're yeah. trying to make a difference. Oh look, carbon net zero by 2030. Yeah. Right, these look excellent. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh. and these are apple cider vinegar. Yeah, exciting. Usually it's like um, either balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar. Yeah. Or... These look like little popper doms. Mm. Mm. Are they nice? Really nice mm. salt and vinegar flavour. You appreciate salt and vinegar That's more now, don't tank. you? Yeah. That George is will like these. That is banging. Mm. Oh, these would be delicious. Put a bit of mango chutney on there. Don't be put off if they ever say lentil something chips because I never taste that it's a lentil. No. And these are meant to oh, be much better, aren't they? It's just like They're something so crunchy, good. isn't it? 
It's such a lovely crunch, with the little bubbles on them. I feel like you can definitely tell it's apple cider vinegar. I can taste a difference, mm. but I yeah, probably wouldn't have been able to tell you. These are so good. I love salt and vinegar. Yeah, you can definitely taste the apple cider vinegar. That's what's kind of like The punchiness is nice, but it's not that punchy. I think it's pretty punchy. Huh? I feel like it's taking a layer off my tongue. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. These are actually one of my favourites. Really? Mm. They're so good. Didn't Do expect you, that. What about you? What, what are you giving me? Not those? one of my favourites, but I really like them. Oh. Probably an 8 out of 10. Compared to every... Ten. They're probably my least favourite thing we've tried today. Mm. Don't worry. Really? I did mean it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. They had another flavour. I'm glad I didn't buy them for you then. What was the other flavour? Sea salt. And the other one's barbecue. I might like the barbecue. I, I like the... Have, but the barbecue like the was texture. the only one that didn't have a great taste. So I was like, I'm mm, not getting that. I don't like the tang. Really? No, it's too it's much. It's really not that tangy, guys. No, I think it's it is. Really it's like cool. taking off the layer of skin from inside my mouth. Anyway, no. I was just going to say, should we yes, try the yes, lemon and yes. lime while we're going? I think they've chosen some good flavours, don't you agree? All fresh and fruity. And I feel like it gets everyone, because there'll be some people that only really like the lemon and limey mm. ones, because they might be too sweet, but... I think so far, if I was to buy a single pack, it would be the strawberry Cheers. so far. And mine would be the passion fruit. So we can get the mixed. We can get the multi-pack. Although I'd probably drink more than you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's really refreshing. Do you know what? Out of all three of them, lemon and lime would be my last one to pick. Yeah. But actually, if you think about it, it's like a Sprite. It's like a mountain alcoholic juice. Sprite or 7-Up. Mm. Yeah, 7-Up. Mm. That's nice. That's really nice. In some ways, that might go number one to me. I still prefer the strawberry, but it is really good. I'm surprised by you and the strawberry. Mm. I'm having really a nice. strawberry day, though. Yeah. I'm just going to have another one of these. Also, if you put like a lime in with this or with a lemon. coconut. Also, if you wanted a bit more flavour, you could squirt in one of those juice things. If you made like a pina colada, like a cocktail with one of oh, these, yeah. it'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Cool, yeah. mm. Okay, right. These are so, um, so these are, these are new now. Jacob's mini cheddars, which if you've never tried a mini cheddar before, they're kind of like these round cheddary crackers. Mm. But they've come out with sticks. Oh, that's cool. So I've got grilled sizzling cheddar and steak. And I've got rich and tanky cheddar. So this is the original flavour. No, it's not. They came out at the same time. No, I'm talking about crackers. Oh, right. <laughs> it was not. They came out at the same time. If you know what a mini cheddar is. Explain it. No, I'm saying cheddar is the original flavour no, of mini cheddar. No, but could you tell cheddars. me what does a mini cheddar, if, for I people just, who don't know? I just said that about 30 seconds ago. No, could you explain for me? So if you've never had a mini cheddar, a mini cheddar is a round baked mm. cracker. The original flavour was cheese cheddar. Yeah. And now they've come out with loads of different ones. Cool. Well, mm. I think they I'm are going to be quite them. punchy because yeah. Eve and Annie had them. Oh, is this what they were eating? Yeah. Now, I'm not a fan of the yeah, cheddar. Yeah, because rich and tangy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the cheddar ones, but my favourite mini cheddars are the uh, Red Leicester ones. Mm. They're amazing. Oh my god, I love how they're sticks. These mm. would be great bar snacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. with like dipping and stuff. Mmm. That's really nice. I think it makes a difference it being real cheese, cheddar. Now, these do not taste like mini cheddars. No. So I would never have got those because I don't like mm. the original middle mini cheddars, but they do not taste like These mini are like elevated. They like mm -hmm. taste like actual cheese. They're great. Mm. And it's more of a cracker. Mm. It's crunchy. Mm. What's nice is when you put it in, you don't use your hands. Right, yeah. You then get the flavour on your lips. Mm. So put like it in with your, your mouth. No, not. <laughs> it has to go in past your lips. Oh, I see. So put, just put the tip in there. Right, now bring it in. Right. Yeah, just bring it in. And then afterwards, you'll lick the lips. Isn't that an experience? Flavour sensation. <laughs> oh, these are very good. Mm. Very enjoyable. I like them. I'm so glad you got those out. Yeah. I think really they're going to top these. I'm worried these are going to be really steaky. Really? <laughs> You, have, you haven't tried these ones yet. I haven't tried any of them. Really steaky. It's got like a bovril flavour. Mmm. It is like a bovril flavour. Mm. I'm loving the stick combo. Mm. Like in the sticks is really good. Oh, try one and one. It'll then be like a a cheddar steak panini. Mmm. Mm. Have you tried that? No. It's <laughs> good. That's banging. Sorry. 
Cassandra. That's nice, isn't it? I'm really glad you got those out of the cupboard. It's like a cheesy richness mm. if you have both. I'm going the rich and tangy cheddar, number one. Mm. And then these. Well, on their own, I don't think these have enough flavour. Well, if they're, they're trying to be steak, I'm going to get an aftertaste, but not really. And also, they're going to have cheddar in them, so I feel like they I can have more cheddar. I think they've made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I feel like these need to be stronger. I was worried that they were going to be really, really, really mm. steaky, but they weren't. They kind of need to be that a bit stronger. That was your mistake. Yeah. Um, the cheddars were fantastic. Mm. Very, very good. They're going in third place out of all of the crisps. Really? Mm -hmm. Third place? Uh-huh. Yeah, it could be right. I think they might actually be above the taco masala. What? Yeah, I would go black truffle, pulled pork. We should talk about this at the end. Then the cheese cheddars. Last but not least, we'll yeah. finish on a bit of a sweet. A little something from Cassandra again. Now, we talked before about proper corn is mm. the original way of having proper. This is brand new salted caramel popcorn. I wonder if it's going to have a coating or it's just going to be flavoured. So is it going to be salted like the salted popcorn but Because it is low caramel? calories. Uh -huh. isn't it? I don't think it's going to be coated. My father was a hopeless cook but made the best popcorn. We'd spend hours obsessing over new flavours, delicious ingredients and the magic popping of corn. Years later, inspired by the popcorn maker he gave me, Proper was born. We started from humble beginnings, improvising by tossing kernels in a refashioned cement mixer. It's mad, isn't How it? How on earth do they do that? And oh. then do you think they just heated it from underneath or something? Maybe. Now we continue to do things differently, making snacks proper. For us, taste is everything. Take this pack of salted caramel popcorn. We balance smooth, sweet caramel with a sprinkling of salt to give our hand-popped butterfly corn an indulgent hit. It's popcorn done properly. I hope you love it, Cassandra. Wow. That looks, can you do a close up in there? Yeah. It looks like it's got seasoning on. Yeah. Like you said, because they're lower calorie, we kind of both guessed it wasn't going to be fully covered, covered but it looks mm. like it's done in a seasoning way. There is a little bit mm. of like caramel crunch in yeah. there. Yeah, it's nicer. I uh, knew it wasn't going to be like butter kiss. Mm. I wouldn't actually pick the caramel butter kiss as my number one. I would. I would always go sweet, then sweet, salty, then salty. I would always go caramel butter kiss. I just think sometimes the caramel, I like it, don't get me wrong, mm. but I couldn't eat a whole bag. Whereas this, I could definitely eat a whole bag. I could eat that a whole is bag. fantastic. This is so good. Enough caramel flavour. It's not loads of salt, but no. it's a nice amount. Because you're getting the salted caramel hit without it being too sugary. Mm. If I'm being honest, when I have a snack like this, I actually don't care what the calories are. Mm. I know a lot of people care about that. I would actually pick this over the butter kiss, mm. just because it's a bit too much the butter kiss. This is lighter. I feel like I can enjoy more and not feel as uh, afterwards. Yeah. I don't feel uh, afterwards, I feel buzzing. Like, <laughs> what film are we going to see? That film was amazing. The caramel tastes very natural. Yeah. I it's think not it all like tastes caramel. really, really natural. That is delicious. Like a lovely, rich, complex kind mm -hmm. of caramel. I really like them. As much as I said, those butter kiss caramel are my favourites. I actually would pick these up yeah, just as so much. Good. I think they're really good. I'll definitely take them to the cinema next time. You're more conscious of like snacking, whereas I'm a big snacker. Whereas I feel like um, you would allow yourself kind of a bit more of this on a, a normal. Re Do you know what I mean? Mm. Whereas like the butter kiss is more of a treat for yeah. you. Yeah, if I go to the cinema. Yeah, that's like more. I of wouldn't a treat. just have it. At Home. Whereas you would probably have a little bit of this yeah. at home, wouldn't you? Because it really is quite low mm. cows. It doesn't taste like low cows, no, though. It so at that's all, what's yeah. really good. Because the worst thing is something being low cal and tasting, tasting low cal. Ah, yeah. oh, that was excellent. That's really good. Can I have a little clap for me? Clap. Well done, Kate. You did a great job. I thought you were about to clap my hand there because you were like really coming over. I'm just going to let you do it. Um, yeah, great selection, Kate. Um, Thank you. Final word on the Bud Light Celsius. Okay, I am going lemon and lime number one, passion fruit number two, strawberry number three, and I would probably give these a seven out of ten. It was nice, mm. but I'm more of a gin person, yeah. so I would rather, it, over that, the reason why I gave it seven is because I would pick a, a gin and tonic tin oh, okay, so. out of that. I really enjoy it. I think I'm actually, I'm struggling between the strawberry and, and the, the lemon. lemon and lime. The lemon and lime is reminding me when I really used to like drinking vodka lime soda water. You were one of those? Oh, oh yeah, so there was good. a time where Alex was in LA being a dancer. Is that what you had no. there? Because oh, no one maybe, wants yeah. any calories yeah, when exactly, they drink. Yeah. 
But um, you know, is that what you used to yeah. drink? Don't it you? tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> I'll have a vodka lime and lemon. I'll, I'll have a vodka drink soda it lemon. What is it? A vodka, vodka lime, lime soda, soda water. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that reminds me of that, which I really like. But I also I really like the strawberry. I did take you for one of those. What? <laughs> you were vodka lime. I used to drink vodka lime soda water. <laughs> I'll have a vodka lime soda. <laughs> I was about that. <laughs> Uh, no, just... I'm a, can I have a New England IPA? Yes. Yeah. I just find it funny because you say it tastes nice, but for me, to be fair, I haven't tasted one, but for me, I... Well, it tastes like that. You like that, don't you? Well, it's okay, but I would, like I'm saying, I get more flavour from a gin and tonic. Yeah. Especially a pink gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> You're obsessed by the gin and tonic. Yeah. Um, anyway, sorry, you carry on. Yeah, no, I would give them an 8 out of 10. I think... It's a toss-up between the lemon lime and the strawberry. Mm. But then probably the passion fruit is like a seven for me. Right, okay. If you enjoy like a, a like a vodka soda, mm. like a gin and tonic, a, you, that sort of thing, you might actually really enjoy yeah. those. So definitely give them a try. Right, okay. A five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to actually say my top two, if that's okay. all right, because there's too many. Yeah. I am going chicken taco oh, masala <laughs> and salt one. and vinegar. No. <laughs> yes, I am. And in they third place so is the mini cheddar sticks. They are really they're good. Really but I'm good. so, so I think surprised. Because they're so different. Mm. This is going to be a treat of the week for the first time, I think, that we're going to have such different mm. opinions, because usually we're quite similar. My number one, these M&S black truffle and olive oil they are amazing absolutely sensational they are really good but i think i'm gonna have to go for the pulled pork pringles i am so surprised really mm -hmm. they're so sweet and barbecuey they're so good i'm so surprised you said that really mm -hmm. let me try another one oh it's definitely mm. those oh it's got a nutty flavor <laughs> it's got a nutty. close third yeah I think we both agree on our third place. Yeah. Although, yeah, they're really good. Thanks, Kate, for putting together this box That's for us. Right. If you'd like to try some British crisps, we've got a British crisp box on yeah. our website. It doesn't actually include these ones, but it includes a load of other delicious British crisps. Even though it doesn't include these, we do actually have um, a few times a year where we do random one-off yeah. crisp boxes. So definitely sign up to our newsletter because we always email out if we do limited edition yeah. one-off boxes. But yeah, we actually have quite a few crisp boxes mm. now because we've got the multi-pack ones yeah. and the crisp box yeah. so yeah we also have loads of british chocolates and treats that you can try so definitely yeah. go check those out and if you sign up to our monthly subscription the box changes every month every single and month. so every month you're gonna get a selection of british goodies sent straight to your door yeah so definitely check that out but we hope you guys enjoyed getting another look into some new british treats i really enjoyed it i really did enjoyed you? it i usually tend to like stick to the things i know i like and also i think because we get so many sent so many things yeah. so many times we just have leftovers so we kind of just enjoy those and yeah. our favorites but it's actually been really nice searching our own stores yeah. for a change it's really nice mm -hmm. but we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya